In this video, we are going to talk about Venus in the 4th house in the Navamsha chart. So what happens when Venus is in the 4th in the Navamsha? So Navamsha chart tells you about your uh, second half of life and the improvements you will go through or basically uh, what your inner personality tells you, okay? So these are some things which are told by Navamsha chart and fourth house is very important because it tells you about your mental peace, okay? Your relations with your mother, the comfort you will derive, okay? Vehicles, land, properties, home, okay? Basically the comfort, will you have a comfortable life? Will you have mental peace? okay these things after marriage or in the second half of your life will be seen okay so uh, fourth house is very important for these things okay will you derive mental peace happiness okay will you have home vehicles property okay now you have venus here so venus gets directional strength here <clears throat> So Venus is very strong here, okay? It's actually a very good position for Venus because it is in the Kendra house and then it is getting directional strength here because this is a water house ruled by, naturally ruled by moon and Venus is also a watery planet. So it does great here, okay? Venus here in the fourth house does great, okay? Now Venus, uh, Venus also here shows that you will get a spouse who will help you to rise your status in life okay will help you to have name fame position in life okay and if this is well placed you will definitely have a very luxurious life you will have vehicles you will have a good home beautiful home okay these things you will have in your life after marriage Okay, even if you don't get married, then at least you will have it uh, by your own self efforts. Okay, you will have mental peace, happiness. You will derive your real happiness from your home when you spend time with your family. Okay, for example, your fourth house is afflicted in the D1 chart, but in the D9 it is well placed. Okay, in the D9 you have Venus here. So it shows that. Uh, you will have improvement okay because when fourth is afflicted it shows that in the past life you have done some karmas you may uh, you may have hurt your mother you may have not respected your home or you may have harmed someone's mental peace okay that's why fourth house is afflicted but venus here shows that you will get good results and you will get mental peace because what is more important is getting mental peace in life if someone is mentally happy then everything around him will be happy okay so you are lucky to have venus here of course it should not be afflicted by other planets but Venus, no matter what, even if uh, it has malefic influence, then also it is Venus and it will always try to protect your mental peace. Okay. And you also have to see the Lord, etc. How they are placed, right? You will have interest to like decorate your home always, do something for your home always, right? Uh, and... Uh, design your home properly okay design your bedroom you will enjoy it okay and also possible that you can work from home or uh, you can earn money very easily you can do any kind of business related to venus okay venus aspecting your 10th house okay 10th house is about your career and venus aspect shows shows happiness you will derive from your career comfort luxury wealth you will derive from your career okay so very good position for venus okay venus also rules banking cash accounts or any creative field so you can also go into those fields okay so venus here gives you good result now for example venus rules your first house so first house always represents you and now it is in the fourth which shows that your mind will always be uh, in your home means like always thinking about your family always want to spend time with your family always want to do something for family members always want to do something for your home okay and uh, you can also uh, develop interest in cooking even if you don't have it now you can develop it after marriage
now let's say venus is ruling your sixth house okay so sixth lord which is which is about obstacles as it is in the um, in the fourth house so it is possible that you can uh, buy your home um, from loan okay you may have to take loan or uh, you may have to finance first for um, for buying home okay or uh, it is also possible that there can be some fights in your home because of money some money issues among family members okay or uh, lack of compatibility with family members somewhere some ups and downs can happen okay so it shows that uh, some debt you may have to pay but like i said it can also mean that you may take loan for having a home homeland okay so it is quite possible so it is not a negative thing right it just means that some uh, somewhere uh, some karma you will pay it can be in the form of money also okay so yes now venus rules your fifth house fifth house is about uh, intelligence and uh, love and uh, romance after marriage okay of the navamsha chart so it sits in the fourth house which shows that you and your partner will be very romantic at home especially and enjoy a very uh, good um, time together romantic time together uh, in home okay and uh, there will be immense love between you and your partner venus also represents your wife okay for males it represents your wife okay so she will be very lucky for you she will also bring a wealth in your home wealth in your life happiness in your life and uh, she will also be very much loyal towards you she will also be very much caring towards you okay so a very good personality she will be and definitely good looking and she will become the reason of your happiness okay because this is the house of happiness she will become the reason of your comfort okay however you have to see other placements also but still she will always become the reason of your happiness right very good looking and a charming personality she will have and also very very emotional okay so but still you have to see the signs aspects and conjunctions okay they will tell you uh, what kind of partner uh, basically you will have okay for males and even if it's ruling your 7th house in the d1 or the d9 and is your dara karka also then also it will show that your partner will be like that okay if venus is a strong here good sign friendly sign okay then definitely you can expect good results okay but the thing is always conjunctions and aspects are important right if jupiter is connected here moon mercury then also the results will be very good with mars okay with mars the things will be good uh, but some ups and downs will happen like love hate kind of thing like you love also but fights also happen okay but there is intense love intense passion okay so that is a good thing okay and not only uh, here a romantic or uh, emotional passion but also physical passion will be there in the relationship okay. with uh, saturn uh, saturn and venus okay uh saturn will give you responsibility duty and practicality will be included right with sun sun will give you a very good home okay like a royal kind of uh the home you can have okay or you can ma get married in a rich family or you can have lots of money wealth okay but the thing is if it is very close you can check the degrees uh then it can make venus combust okay so venus will not be able to give that much money wealth or happiness okay so uh you will have to make your venus strong by doing the remedies okay so with rahu ketu uh it's good depending upon the disposter uh, rahu ketu will give good results but uh, rahu ketu little bit also bring some karmic situations so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much may god bless you bye take care